Grand Rising, Grand Arrival, Grand Return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I'm Sophia of the Americana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transportation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a format that best serves our creator. Today is September the 4th, 2024. It's Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine, sunshine State. We have the sun at 12 degrees of Virgo. Our moon is at 26 degrees of Virgo and in a trine basically to Uranus at 27 degrees of Taurus. So another Uranus activation and especially with the moon. So it could be some shocking information on the inside of you this time um, because Uranus, of course, is related to individuality, disruption, innovation, it's our shock and all card, but since it's trying with the moon flowing to the moon, that will be on an inside. We also have Mars that has not yet entered um, Cancer, but it will be entering Cancer today. Um, but until it enters Cancer, we still have this <clears throat> this all all point all things pointing at Mars. So our willpower. Um, in this case, it's, it's collective willpower. Um, the square between um, Neptune and Mars, the um, in conjunct between Pluto and Mars, and um, Pallas Athena and Mars. So there's a lot of um, heavy, heavy energy on our willpower and, and basically getting our willpower together, getting it on the right track. We also have this trine between um, Mercury at 24 degrees of Leo and um, really Aries at 25 degrees of Aries. So that's flowing energy. And remember, Aries was in mythology the, the one who started the Tro Trojan War with the poisonous apple. So this could be um, fiery information that comes through, which basically makes sense with our willpower being activated. So it's going to be up to you to manage your energy and make sure that you don't get drawn into this, this, this never ending saga of the Troy war, basically, which has just been playing out over and over and over again. Of course, if you like more in-depth information about the astrology, please consult your favorite astrologer who can give you a better breakdown of the actual influences and energies. We are on day three of our moon cycle. This is a new moon, still 2.1 day old moon, 2.1% illumination, moon rise time at 8.21 a.m., moon set time at 8.41 p.m. Um, day three of the moon cycle is um, the third moon mansion, which is Ezekis, Ezekis, Ezekis? And this head, the third of the moon sphere, um, shows the spiritual light how by the correlative influences of the moon sphere, he can procure for himself in the Akasha principle, happiness and everything good. Since this head's influences usually works on the physical world, he and his subordinates will help the magician to good luck and success in all earthly matters. So this could be how Uranus is influencing us personally because we are, um, we do have this, um, what I say, trine between the moon and Uranus. So this guy helps you feel good to achieve your goals. And so all of your willpower and all of your, your um, authoritative energy spiritually should be um, pointed at you getting what you want, feeling good, and not being distracted by the information that's coming in that could basically be, quote unquote, the poisonous apple, okay? All right, so for our astrotherography sun sign decan, we are in nine of cups. Nine of cups is dreams, enjoyment, and happiness, and this can best be transmuted with the nine of coins, which is success, great love and rewards through the lens of the eighth house of Pisces, which is to pay a yeah, eighth house of Pisces, which is to pay attention to details and don't solely rely on intuition. So again, this is not the time. Um, oh, I say the nine of coins, right? Nine of coins is success, great love and rewards, 
through the lens of the eighth house in Pisces, which is to pay attention to details and don't solely rely on intuition. Again, you have to pay attention to what's going on around you, look at who's around you, and share the abundance that you do have. Whatever that abundance is, share it. Don't hold on to the abundance that you have right now. This is the start of the quote-unquote harvest season. Harvest season is really harvesting it out to people but not everybody you're not willy-nilly throwing your energy around um you don't want to solely trust your intuition you also want to take a look around you and see who literally needs help and those are the people you should be sowing something into at this time all right so for our north node decan we are in two of wands which is Plans, travel, and new ideas. This is our Jezebel card and outside influence card. And you can transmute this with the Two of Swords, which is indecision, solutions, and difficulties, which is our intuition card, through the lens of the second house in Libra, which is to prefer to work with others and don't want to care for self. So again, um, now would be a good time to sow into other people to help other people it's not that you don't quote unquote want to care for yourself but you have to invest in what you want to see so this goes along with like i said the virgo um dark moon astrotorography please take a look at that video this piggybacks right on the same energy the same energy is um active but from a different house so you'll see a different perspective of it but absolutely you want to you want to be helping others and you you want to use your intuition but you don't want to um only use your intuition literally look around and see what's going on okay so for our tree of life yearly predict progressions and predictions we are still in mercury energy this is the ten of swords which is sudden ending failure and backstabbing you can transmute this energy through the ten of wands which is no perspective burden and accomplishment this is what i call our tunnel vision card through the lens of the ninth house in gemini which is learn how to properly use words and wisdom so again knowing when to say something to somebody when not to say something to somebody um, when to evaluate if the person really needs help or if they don't really need help, when to evaluate who to help, all of these things is it should become becoming clear now. Like the whole tunnel vision thing, you should be tunnel vision on who it is you need to help, who it is you need to reach out to, who it is you need to support. That's what you need to be zeroed in on. That would be my suggestion. So if you enjoy this type of astrology content, please feel free to join us on YouTube where my handle is Sophia Spiritualite. Also, if you would like access to all of these slides for the whole month so you can better plan out your month, please join us on Patreon. This will be available as a digital download as of the first of the month. It'll be a little bit earlier next month, but for September, it'll be available as of the first of the month and you'll be able to see the entire month in advance, how to transmute the energy, how to um, make the most of it, and how to really um, uh, dig into um, this energy in a way that will support you moving forward. Thank you so much for joining us for today's daily transmutation report. Peace and blessings and see you tomorrow.